I really hate them! As a lot of you know, there have been a lot of rumors regarding the possible return of CJ from San Andreas in GTA 6. And not too long ago, Steven Ogg, Ned Luke, and Sean Fontino, that being the cast of actors who played Trevor Phillips, Michael DeSanta, and Franklin Clinton respectively, they did this panel in Brazil, responding to questions, speculating the future of Rockstar Games and the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Now here's the thing, Sean Fontino, also known as Solo, is actually the cousin of Young Melee, the actor who played Carl Johnson in San Andreas. And as such, he often gets questions about GTA 6 and the possible return of CJ and yada yada yada. So during these panels, it's really not that uncommon for Solo to speculate about CJ and Franklin in GTA 6. Fans like listening to him talk about that. And so, of course, he's gonna give them what they want. And here's the thing, Sean Fontino has made it clear that he has no idea what Rockstar is planning to do next. You have to give some credit to Sean Fontino for handling this as well as he does. <laughs> because let's face it, it's gotta be tiring to constantly get the same questions over and over and over again. I have no knowledge of GTA 6. None of us do. When I do these Comic Cons and we out in a, a whole nother country, you gotta remember man, I'm sitting on a stage like this and I'm talking to people and I'm having fun. I'm the one that always get questions asked about. Six, Melee, and Sleep, which is CJ and Lamar. And when they ask me about GTA 6, and they say, you know, are you coming back in it? Or are you gonna be in it? If you guys really listen, listen. If y'all motherfuckers really listen to the, to the interviews and shit, it'd be a joke to me. I would love to be in GTA 6, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what y'all think about, you know, CJ might come back, and blah, blah, blah this, and blah, blah that. We gonna come back and take over um, Grove Street. Me just speaking out, having fun with the crowd, interacting. Giving them what they wanna hear. You're more than welcome if we, you see us at another Comic Con, and you wanna ask me about 6, just know that I'ma say some shit. Like, I would love to, man. I would love to uh, bring CJ back. What y'all think about that? And me and Lamar, I mean, you know, that's just shit that I do, man. It's not that I'm saying that, yeah, I'm in six or Melee's in six as CJ and Lamar in six. And no, we're not saying that, man. If I just sit on the stage and just sit there like this and be like, yeah, yeah. So what's up? What's happening, cuz? Yeah, I'm from the streets of LA. I'm going to be boring as a motherfucker. Y'all going to be like, this boring motherfucker. You know, so I speak to y'all and I have fun with y'all. But as to be expected, a lot of GTA content creators on YouTube, I'm not gonna name any names, but as a quick side note, are these people really content creators? A lot of them steal ideas from smaller actual content creators. So in my mind, they're not content creators, they are content regurgitators. But hey, whatever, that's just my opinion. But as to be expected, a lot of these people took samples from this panel, they chopped it up, took a bunch of quotes out of context so they could make videos on GTA 6 and be like, hey, CJ confirmed in GTA 6. Here's what Sean Fontino said. Now this led to a lot of people contacting Young Melee and Sean Fontino about this, flooding them with questions about Carl Johnson and the future of the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Typical stuff like that. So when the bloggers get this sh and these people that sit at home and be on their computers, their YouTube pages, and they take our interviews and they chop the motherfuckers all up and they take a word when you say 6 or 7 in GTA and they chop them up and say, I say that, yeah, GTA 6 is this, this is where it's gonna be at, this is where it's gonna be. They do it with Ned too, they do it with Steven if he say something. So I got up this morning just to speak on this because I want y'all to stop it, man. Putting shit on YouTube where when I did some shit at in Brazil and I said, yeah, you know, CJ might be coming back to the six, man. You know, man, listen to the words that I say before y'all start taking them and chopping them up. It say might. I have no knowledge of DLC. I have no knowledge of online content. I have no knowledge on what the fuck Rockstar is doing. They don't tell me shit. The motherfucking bloggers that take the words out of our mouths and chop them up and make us say that we are gonna be in six or this person's gonna be in six, man, that's what they do. I have no problem with you dudes that do that shit, man. You know, I, I can't say nothing to you because you sit up and you sit behind your motherfucking computer all day and all night taking shit, modding, chopping shit up, taking what we say 
and make it into something, you know what I mean? So when Young Melee was inundated with questions about this, well, he got kind of fed up. And he also made it clear that he will never, under any circumstances, reprise his role as CJ. As a lot of you know, I did a video on this. If you want to check that out, there's a link to it down below in the video info. I don't even know how to describe what happened. Like, it was just like this astounding moment where somebody who's beloved by the Rockstar Games fan base has this heated back and forth with fans of the game. A lot of them felt attacked by this, and so they lashed out at Melee, who in return lashed out back at them. Oh, by the way, here's a comment that I forgot to include in that video. I was gonna beat the sh out of the dude who played Nico Bellic for talking down to Rockstar Games, but for what? He exposed the truth. I'll never work with Rockstar Games again. Unless I get a few millions to the pocket. Bitch ass motherfuckers probably support Donald Trump. Based on this comment, we can actually infer what might have happened between Young Melee and Rockstar Games. You see, Rockstar Games has a tendency to, um, <laughs> how do I put this? Pay their voice actors way less than they should be paid. Michael Hollick, who played Nico Bellic in GTA 4, was very vocal about this. And so it seems like Young Melee initially felt like Michael Hollick was being an ingrate. But then, when it comes to Young Melee also not being properly compensated, it's like, hey, wait, hold on. He's exposing the truth. And then he goes on to say, I'm never gonna work with Rockstar Games ever again unless I get a few million dollars. Every man has his price. As you would imagine, a lot of people contacted Sean Fontino about this. They were like, hey, Solo, you know, your cousin is ranting about Rockstar Games. And he's arguing with a lot of GTA fans, you know, <laughs> what do you make of that? Now this is where I have to command Solo. A lot of people would have immediately taken sides and been like, hey, you know what, I stand with my cousin. Or they would have said, hey, my cousin's a dumbass. Solo did neither. He went live on Instagram and he just talked openly about it. You know, like, here's what happened, here's what I make of it. Now, from what I can tell, the broadcast lasted for about 15 minutes, out of which 12 minutes and 52 seconds were saved. I'm gonna go ahead and play some clips of that, but before I do, I just wanna thank b 4 Shar, or I, I think it might be Bashar. I wanna thank this person for recording the broadcast and uploading it to YouTube, because it seems like this is the one person who had enough sense in their skull to save the broadcast and archive it. You know, I talked to Melee the other day, and he was just pretty upset about a lot of stuff. And, you know, I kind of called him in a, in a, a, as a big cousin would do and checked him about like what's wrong, you know, why you spazzed out the way you did and man, that's not cool and it's a better way to do it and chill out. But it's hard to tell somebody not to be mad at something. It was wrong to me and it might be wrong to a lot of people, but you got to understand from our point of view. When I say our, I'm talking about from a, 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 a black man. When we, when we go, we go. We don't just go from zero to, you know, five, 10 miles per hour, 20, 25. We don't do the speed limit. When we take off, we take the f off, man. We go off. If me, him, and Slink were sitting in the car getting ready to go rob a bank, we're not gonna sit outside and do all this planning and plotting and f all that. Pull up, let's do this sh let's get this shit over with, let's go. Cause you're gonna get the same f time for sitting outside getting caught versus robbing the motherfucking bank. So we just go. And what Melee did was he just went. He was in his emotions and he just went. He just went hard. To him, he felt he was right. After I talked to him, he was like, he know he was wrong and he felt wrong and he kind of felt bad about it. And more or less he felt that he, you know, kind of like let me and DJ Pooh down. Cause you know, we his big homies, big, big cousins and whatnot. And I told him, man, no, nah, don't feel that way. You did what you did. And I understand why and how he did it, but it wasn't that way to do it. So he wrong, but he not wrong because he don't know no other way. I love him to death, man. That's my cousin, man. He my, he my go-getter. He did it. It's done. Y'all gonna take it. But y'all not gonna bash him on my page. That's what you're not gonna do. You're not gonna be in my DM talking about, you know, he need to uh, shut the f*** up and follow the train. He need to do this. He need to do whatever the f*** y'all putting in my DM, man. Stop putting it in there. Because you're not just gonna bash my dude, my family member, over his words of what he say. Because he have a, a, a right to speak however the f*** he wanna speak. You know, back up off of him. Leave Maynay the f*** alone, man. Leave him alone, man. Let him live, man. He all right. He venting on some sh that he had in him for a long time ago. It ain't for me to speak on what it is. Maybe he'll get on his live and speak on it. And maybe he won't. I hope he don't because, like I said, you know, he's still a little more active than I am. So he might say some sh He might regret it again. But leave the man alone, man. You know, y'all filling this DM up with all this sick sh I, 
I'm doing this to ask for y'all, man, ask the fans, man. Love Melee for who he is, man. Love my dude, man, because I love him. I ain't gonna turn my back on him. Wrong or right, I ain't gonna turn my back on him. He made a mistake, he wrong, you know, he been it. And I told him about it, we talked about it. And as his big cousin, I kind of checked him on it. Well, I don't want to put it like I checked him, like I got on the phone and got on his ass, nah. But if I did, he, he will accept that because I got that authority with him. Not everybody can do that. I can do it. And we have our words, but he gonna respect me as his big cousin. That's like if DJ Pooh was to call me right now, that's my big bro. If he was to check me about something I did or something I say, he, he did it before, cause I've been in melee shoes. You know, I've had some, a few little slight issues when it comes to this, you know, this work we do. You know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like this is the best possible way he could have responded to this. Solo, if you see this video, thank you for being, I don't know, the voice of reason. You had no obligation at all to say anything about this. You could have just done what the other cast members do and what Rockstar Games does. You could have just been quiet about this and waited for it to be over. But instead, it seems like you took the more voice of reason approach. You defended Young Melee, but at the same time, you never defended his actions. You were just kind of like, hey, you know, people get pissed off. And when they get upset, they say say and do things that they shouldn't do. So like I said, Solo, Mr. Fontino, thank you. Anyway, that's it for this video. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.